Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new 2013 Kia Proceed. And today's review is taking place at Heron Auto, Opelin Kia, situated in Donegal Town, County Donegal. For all contact information regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be looking at the interior of the car, I'll explain how the features work, also start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take a look around the exterior. So let's get started. Has good wide opening doors, painted silver accenting. Both front windows are fully automatic, so as chrome door handles. It also has this little arm here just for holding on to the seatbelt, make it easier for you to grab. So the power on the vehicle, just apply the clutch and turn. Fires right up. It has a manual, rake and reach steering wheel, completely adjustable, in and out, up and down, until you get your desired driving position. It's also a leather steering wheel. It also has rack and pinion, electric power assist, very good feedback. You can also adjust this by using Kia's new flexi mode system. By pressing this button here, you'll get three options indicated on the truck computer screen. At the moment it's in normal mode. Then you got sport mode, which is the steering wheel on its heaviest setting, as you can see. And then the last one is comfort mode. Now comfort is for really parking the car, or if you're driving in somewhere like a city or a village, anywhere where there's a lot of really tight corners at kind of low speeds. As you can see, it is extremely light. That'd be very useful when parking in an awkward spot. So I'll just pop back into normal mode. Underneath that you got your cruise control as well as your trip computer settings. This bottom button here is your return. We'll just go through it. If I go back to that first option and hold in the bottom button, you can go through things such as your door and lamp settings, how long you want them to stay on for or how you want to set them up. And then you just got your basic general settings from there on. And off the left, you got your Bluetooth controls as well as voice command, your volume controls and radio controls for the uh, radio itself, as well as your uh, mute button. It also comes with a CD radio as standard. It's MP3 and Bluetooth compatible. It's very good sound quality. You got all your preset stations down here. As well as all your basic controls. You got your radio controls, uh, phone. When you have your phone connected to the Bluetooth system, you can operate it from there. Media, and that there is your iPod connectivity down below. And off to each side, you got two 12 volt power outlets. Your uh, TA scan that there is basically just the radio frequencies, and then you got your setup, you got your display, sign, phone, and system, and then your other menu settings such as region and news. That's one other thing I should show you. When you press this wee button here, the moon, that just turns off the screen lighting. Underneath that you got your traction control as well as your central locking, as well as your air conditioning of four different fan speeds, different zone selection, recycling, so on. So well as a handy storage cubby down there and your parking sensors. This car comes with a six speed manual transmission. Pull up in the lever, over and up for reverse. The beeping is just the parking sensor has been activated. As well as a leather e-brake. Two cup holders, as well as a leather armrest. A good deep storage cubby. 
It also comes with very comfortable and supportive class seats with integrated side airbags. So it's a manual dimming interior mirror. Sun visors with integrated vanity mirrors, as well as lighting and your microphone. Interior lighting, as well as the padded sunglasses container. And off the right here, you can power fold your exterior mirrors. Also has automatic headlamps. It's a very nice interior. It's very comfortable, very spacious. It's just like a normal five door seat. And then up here, you got your digital screen with your time and date, as well as your outside temperature meter reading. And you can completely adjust all that just by using these controls here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. Just pull this handle here. If I just sit on the passenger side, you can see there's a good bit of leg room. Head room is quite good as well. Storage pockets. You've got your rear speakers as well as a cup holder off to each side. There is a lot more room back here than I was expecting. For the uh, three door sporty pro seat hatchback, I would have thought it'd be a bit more cramped. It's actually every bit as spacious as a five door seat. And also the transmission tunnel is nearly completely flat, so if you do get the middle seat, you should be okay, because there is leg room to spare. So let's just turn on the vehicle's power. As well as the headlights, front and rear fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both front windows are fully automatic. And we'll take a look around the exterior. The exterior color is called Arctic White. Chrome signature Kia Tiger Nose front grille, halogen projector headlamps as well as LED accenting, as well as your door fog lamps. This here is the second generation of the Pro Seat and it is an excellent looking car. It's very striking from every angle. I think this has to be one of the best looking hatchbacks I've seen. lines. It's a very sporty looking hatchback. We've got front quarter windows as well as very nice LED indicators. A black accenting under the lower panels of the mirror. It also has these 16 inch twin five spoke galley wheels. Front and ventilated steel disc brakes. Very nice body lines going down the side. Has a decent sized glove box, which can also be cooled by the air conditioning, just by adjusting this little dial here.
Up front, the new Pro Seat has an independent McPherson strut suspension, and in the rear, it has an independent multi link suspension with a trailing arm. It also has front and rear coil springs as well as front and rear anti roll bars. Photo cap. Also has LED tail lights. Your rear reflectors, as well as rear fog lamp, and the rear parking sensors. Exhaust tip. Boot space in the new Pro Seat is very good. It has 12.7 cubic feet of room. It has a removable rear parcel shelf. And underneath the carpet itself, the separate storage shelves, and underneath them is a space saver spare wheel. hook there for any groceries or luggage. Just pulling this handle here to fold down the rear seats. They fold in a split 60-40. The rear seats do not fold completely flat but they don't leave any inconvenient lips or ledges behind. So any luggage you do have you can slide it back here with these. release. The engine in the new Pro Seat is a 1.4 litre CRDI turbo diesel. It produces 90 brake horsepower and has a top speed of 106 miles per hour. It also produces 162 foot pounds of torque and has a 0 to 60 time of 13 seconds. It can also get 68 miles to the gallon. That's about 3,500 RPM. So we'll just finish up the review now. The new Pro Seat is a very nice car. It has a lovely interior. I really like the way the driver's zone is being kind of shaped and directed so that it's pointing right at the driver. It makes you feel like you're almost in the cockpit of a plane. It's very focused. It has a very nice gauge cluster with chrome accenting. It comes with a lot of good equipment as standard including Kia's new flexi mode system as well as cruise control, voice commands, Bluetooth and iPod connectivity and many other little things. It's a very spacious car. I was quite surprised at how roomy it was in the back. I was expecting it to be a little more cramped than a five-door hatchback, but it's not. Legroom and headroom is still good. Boot space is excellent. That hasn't been sacrificed. So the Pro Seat is not disappointed. I think it looks great from the outside. It's quite possibly one of the nicest looking hatchbacks on the road. It really is a head turner. I'll also um, have a few other engines listed at the end of this video, different choices including different transmissions. 
I'm also really looking forward to 2014 when the Pro C GT is coming out. Now Kia looking to take on the Volkswagen Golf GTI with it. It's going to have a 1.6 litre turbocharged GDI petrol engine producing 201 horsepower. Now I should uh, point out the Volkswagen Golf GTI really is the original hot hatchback. It's kind of where it all began really. So um, if Kia are able to take it on and be every bit as good as it, it's going to be very impressive because let's face it in the past Kia have not really been famed for making sports cars. So the Pro C GT will be Kia's first ever sports car and I'm hoping it's going to be excellent, it's going to be a big hit, which I'm sure it will be. Because let's not forget, Kia these days has been designed by the German Peter Schreier, who has designed cars such as the Audi TT in the past. So I trust that uh, Mr. Schreier knows what he's doing. In recent years, Kia have really come a long way, I must admit. I really like their cars, the Seed, the Sportaz, the Sorento and the Optima are just a few of the examples. I'm pretty sure there's many more impressive cars to come from them in the future. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full and that tour of the all new 2013 Kia Pro Seed. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe and please stay tuned to the more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.